on today. Now, your local weather authority with Chief Meteorologist Jesse Walker. Welcome back, everybody. Look at the spin right over the top of this area. It's an area of low pressure spinning around and moving on. Luckily, it will move out of here in time to give us some improving weather for the weekend. And by that, I mean that the rain chances will be leaving temperatures that are going to inch back up by the second half of the weekend. We only hit the upper 70s today, so with this low pressure in the area, it has knocked the temperatures down. 66 was our low early this morning. We picked up a little bit more rain today, but look at this 5.63 inches for the month. We may tack a little bit more onto that tonight. Night, and then we may get a little bit more yet next week before this month is over. So it's going to be a wet month across the valley. Sunrise, sunset tomorrow as we start the weekend. We're holding out the maximum amount of daylight right now. All the days are about to start getting shorter. And there's the river jumping up in Terre Haute, just about 12 feet still on the way up. Currently at the airport in Terre Haute, 73. Winds are northwest at about 9 miles per hour. Pressure pretty low, 2965, as you would expect with that low pressure spinning right over the top of us. Temperatures are pretty much in the 70s, although we've got some 60s off to the north, so the temperatures are not bad at all. Boy, you can see it right there, very clearly defined, that area of low pressure spinning around and slowly making its way off to the east. Eventually, it will get far enough east of here to see our weather improve a little bit. Here's a closer look once again. You'll see these showers and storms are kind of rotating, so depending on where you are, they're moving in different directions. Let's say you're over here in the Marshall area, they're coming in from the northwest, but if you're over here, so are Greencastle, they're coming in from the south. So the storm is spinning, and these storms are moving in different directions across our area. Here's the Dorset Automotive Doppler radar off to the north and to the south. We see some of the heavier rains. We'll take a closer look up north, first of all. You get up here in northern Park County, up towards Montgomery County, northern Putnam County, a little heavier rain there. And then we've got a couple of cells you see here, heavier cells developing up here in in the Vermilion County. Down to the south, you get down just near and just south of Marshall over into northern Sullivan County. Some thunder and lightning there down towards Robinson. And again, these are kind of moving off to the east as they spin around that area of low pressure. So these will continue off and on as we head through the evening hours, diminishing some later tonight. And you can kind of see that they will spin out of the area. And so by tomorrow morning, when a lot of you are getting up, I think we're still looking at a lot of cloud cover and a couple little isolated showers will be around. Same thing in the afternoon, especially in the east, which will be closer to that system. Notice we may have a couple little light showers that pop up, but I really think a lot of tomorrow we're okay. The clouds will tend to break down some towards the evening tomorrow night. And then as we head into the overnight, we should be okay. I think Sunday turns out pretty good, although late in the day, see this, just a couple little hit or miss thunderstorms are possible late in the day. But other than that, I think we're looking pretty good. There's that low. Boy, you can see it clearly defined on our wind vectors. This is going to move out of the area. Our winds will be out of the west tomorrow. And then we're not talking about a whole lot of wind on Sunday, kind of light. So it's not going to be a weekend with a lot of wind. As we look longer term now, next system coming in from the southwest. Big story on this is going to bring heat up across the areas. We head into Wednesday and Thursday and right into Friday. So get ready. The summer heat is going to be returning across the valley. And not only the heat, but the humidity, all the moisture in the ground is going to start to evaporate. And that's going to allow the heat index to get high once again. So a break from the heat now. Enjoy it. It's coming back in less than one week. Forecast for tonight, mostly cloudy. Some scattered showers and storms. 63 for the overnight low. Tomorrow, can't rule out an isolated shower, a lot of cloud cover, but the temperatures are not bad at all. 78, enjoy that because wait till you see the extended forecast. It's going to heat up as early as Sunday as we hit 86 and 87 on Monday. Then as we head into next week, scattered storms. Look at that. Highs in the 90s. The heat index could be over 100 by late next week. That's your forecast. Now it's time to head over to Omar for sports. Jesse, thanks.